Crystal and I just left for what three nights, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And um, it's amazing. We just packed this tiny little cooler, and we only have, I would say, maybe two grocery sacks. See, the reason I think it's such a great thing is because when we used to travel, we would bring a lot of stuff, yeah. um, or we would have be forced to eat out a lot. And eating out a lot. Uh, for any of you that have to do that for your job or whatever, you know there's a price to pay for that too. So, uh, because the foods, they're not as good of quality and you never know what they're putting in them. But Crystal and I just love it now. We're just, we wish that all of our kids ate this way. And our kids, because of ER Shred, our kids' diets have actually become even more simplified. Um, yeah. And we just value simplicity. We're buying way less boxed foods. I love our pantry now because it's not so cluttered and I've been able to really simplify it in there, which I love. Crystal's really dream like. is to have a pantry and and, and, and uh, cupboards and drawers and there's just nothing in them anyway. Yeah, it's like, I, like I don't even look, know what they're there for. I like the look of empty drawers and empty shelves. Oh my gosh, it's so strange. <laughs> but anyway, that's Crystal. She likes just absolute simplicity. simplicity. It makes her feel good. Yeah. Well, it, this does make us feel good because like... I was just thinking about, you know, I've been, Crystal and I have been ER shredding now for over nine months. Um, and so for us, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting to see that, like, I was just asking Crystal, Crystal to list the foods that I eat on a daily basis. And it's kind of the same foods over and over and over again. Crystal and I have little tricks, ways to make them a little bit more interesting. Like, I incubate my Isoline Pro Shake while we're driving here. I blended that up before we left and just stick it in the car and that way we can just keep going you know we don't have to stop and eat whatever's available because that can be a really bad thing this morning we got these two yep this morning we woke up and knowing that we were going to drive for seven hours we had a big breakfast i pounded the whole breakfast it was uh bacon eggs it was um uh, uh, steak and uh, what else, Crystal? I had a little bit of yogurt in there. Um, uh, what butter, am I missing? Of course. Lots of butter, salt, <laughs> and we. I had this big breakfast, knowing that this is going to be a long drive, or you know, if it's going to be a long day, really get yourself good and fueled, so your body can pull from that those fat stores the rest of the day and feel satiated from that protein. Um, and then I'll have this. You know, I can still go another. We've been going three hours. I could actually probably go another hour or two before I even touch that shake, which is kind of cool. Like it makes life so simple. You don't have to pull into a, a you know, a quick restaurant or a gas station and just gorge on whatever's there. And, and feel like crap the whole day. Because yeah, of but it's not like you have to plan ahead like crazy. That's the hard part about travel is either you pay the price by giving in or you pay the price by massive preparation. And with this lifestyle, it's just things are so simple. So Crystal, can you read off my list of, these are like the foods that I eat on a daily basis. This is what I uh, predominantly eat. Every now and then I'll have a little sweet potato, every now and then I'll have a little squash. But beyond that, this is what I eat every day. Yeah, here's the list. Eggs, meat, butter. We make these little egg cakes that I've shared before on a YouTube video. Um, butter, of course, lots of butter in our coffee whole yogurt, Iceline Pro, bone broth, pork rinds, dark chocolate, berries, honey, heart cheese, avocados, and bananas. That's basically what we eat. <laughs> Every day. Every day. And it's interesting because I, I'm nine months now and I don't feel deprived. You I don't had a feel... baby by now. <laughs> <laughs> Be a healthy baby. Yeah. Be a little, little caveman baby. <laughs> Cavewoman baby. But, but the cool thing is it's empowering. It's unbelievably empowering and it makes travel doable and it yeah. makes travel not so daunting. And when we do go places with the kids, it's like, oh, freak, what do we got to bring for food? It's, it's more complex than this because the kids are accustomed to variety. And, uh, you know, when they go, when they travel, it's kind of this notion of we want to have what's special. We want to have different things. Whereas Crystal and I, we just see food in a completely different light now. Um, we love the food we eat. We love what we eat. We feel so good. We're so grateful for what we eat. If we're going to have variety, 
we mix in just different things like Crystal makes these Isoline Pro pancakes, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, I really uh, relish in the quality of my food now. I'm just uh, becoming more picky. I really just want to have grass-fed beef all the time. And so when we, if we ever do go to a restaurant, I'm just kind of like, oh, I just wish they had grass-fed beef, you know? Yep, I hear you. Uh, if you do have to go to a restaurant, uh, just tell them, uh, please don't put any uh, spices or don't put any sauces on my food. Um, and, and if you're going to cook it on a grill or whatever, please just cook it in butter and just tell them you have allergies because they take that serious. Yeah. Um, if you if you don't tell them it's an allergy, if you, you just say, I have some major food sensitivities or I have allergies, because if you just ask and you don't say why, they oftentimes they'll forget and then you you get to pay the price for that um, but they will they'll accommodate you you're still spending money at their establishment so they're great they're happy to have you there they'll accommodate you gosh isn't it great to be so in control around food and if you can get in control around food don't you see that you can get in control around everything like it's it's like this little microcosm type thing it's this little um, it, it's the perfect empowerment piece if I can do that and I did I can do anything yeah. so anyway that's our story about travel while we drive what do we do crystal do we I mean we don't snack much no nope, we just have the beef sticks yeah we just don't <laughs> you don't need much you don't yeah. all the the constant chewing last thing I'll say people always eat they just eat all the time. If, when you're driving in your car, look around at stoplights and you'll see other people in other cars and you'll either see them on their phones or they're eating. They're, it's usually one of the two. They're either on their phones or they're eating. They eat all day long. We talk about three meals a day. Even bodybuilders, they talk about six meals a day. But forget all of that because the majority of Americans, they never stop eating all day long, especially if they don't like what they're doing, which is their job. They'll eat, 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 just to just to suppress the stress of what they're doing, just, just to kind of dull and numb the boredom of it. Yep. So it is.